With the first pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Andrew Luck, quarterback, Stanford. It's pretty much or assumed, and then for the last week or so, it's been known for sure that Andrew Luck, 31 and 7 at Stanford, certainly someone that commands all sorts of presence, someone who in three years threw for close to 10,000 yards, 82 TDs, 22 interceptions, and is a much better overall athlete than you would think. Is that fair to say, Mel? No question about it. We think about what Cam Newton did in the NFL with the Carolina Panthers. Andrew Luck comes out last year, which he could have. He would have been the number one pick for the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton may have been a Buffalo Bill. History, as we know, would have been great written. So you think about Andrew Luck, that's how good he is. That's, in my opinion, a quarterback since John Elway in 1983. Would have gone ahead of Cam Newton last year. Now he's with a Colt team. That's to do a job. Ryan Grigson, the new GM, has got to build up that talent base around the quarterback. So his career resembles Peyton Manning, not Archie Manning, who never had the personnel around him to be the great quarterback he could have been. Look at Andrew Luck. You talk about the size, the cerebral approach. He has mobility. He has enough arm strength. People say he doesn't have this howitzer for an arm. Perfect mechanically throwing the football. Great throws the football. I think he can throw it all angles. He's talking about his motion. He can alter that when he has to, when he's pressured. Tremendously accurate. He is deadly accurate in the red zone. Think about this. In the red zone, 73.8% completion percentage, 27 zero interceptions. That's spectacular. David Shaw, head coach, said, I can't put enough on this kid's plate. He is ready mentally, physically for the NFL. A more mobile, more athletic Peyton Manning. He'll do his job. Will the Colts brass, will the Colts front office do their job building up that personnel around Andrew Luck? This kid to me, as I said, the best since John Elway, I run in 1983. And people say, well, go to Manning in 98. Manning had some critics. There were some in the league, the NFL, that thought Ryan Leaf was better. I had somebody, people in the league say to me, his name was Peyton Jones, not Peyton Manning. He'd be a third round pick. Nobody has criticized or said anything negative to me in the league about Andrew Luck. He is a consensus number one guy, and no question the best to come around in a long, long time. And you said on the pregame, if you will, Coach, right here, Andrew Luck, as impressive as we've seen. He's ready to go. Well, very fittingly, we think Susie. Yeah, good evening, Chris. Andrew, how did the reality match the dream? Oh, it was great. Uh, it was everything I've, I've ever thought it would be. You know, I just feel so blessed, so fortunate to be in this situation. And, you know, can't wait to start with the Colts. For something that was a done deal, that certainly was a long phone call. <laughs> what was the gist of that? Well, I think a lot of excitement, so you might as well, you know, talk to them and, and get, get some feelings out. What's the message to Colts fans? I know, just hope, hope for the best. We'll come in, work hard. I know there's a lot of great guys in the locker room already, and, you know, I feel so honored. You know, so grateful to be able to represent the city now and, and be a part of the team. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Susie.